The Teradek Cube is a solution to a variety of applications. Regardless of the application, there are best practices for your Cube encoder. Stream Performance and Latency The Teradek Cube in Master Mode is limited to approximately 5 megabits per second of bandwidth. By default, 2 megabits are automatically allocated to a computer or decoder high resolution stream. The rest of the 3 megabits are allocated to iOS streaming. Each iOS device takes 1 megabit. In master mode, we only recommend using up to 3 iOS devices. Oftentimes, the video bitrate and resolution affects the performance of a stream. Try adjusting the bitrate and resolution to find a good balance between video performance and latency. Your bitrate should be set relative to your resolution. A higher resolution will require a higher bitrate to look good. You need more information to fill the screen size. For example, a 480p widescreen resolution stream with 3 megabits per second bitrate will most likely look better than a 720p resolution at 1 megabit per second bitrate. In some situations, lower latency may be priority. You can first try expanding bandwidth or adjusting resolution as suggested previously. Lower the caching value of both your encoder and decoder. Go to Video Settings, Encoder Settings, Advanced Options. We suggest setting the latency to its lowest value, but please note the decoder's caching value should be equal to or greater than the encoder setting. Enable Intro Refresh on your encoder. Intro Refresh manages the way in which data packets are sent. Rather than large bursts followed by P frames, it sends more consistent packet sizes. Please note. Intro refresh only works for encoder to decoder. Disable intro refresh if you are live streaming to a CDN. These are just a few best practices that we can recommend based on our customer interactions. The Teradek Cube is built for complete user control. For further or advanced technical support, please email support at teradek.com. For more information about Teradek, visit teradek.com.